Good morning, everyone. This is going to be a how to video today how to make your own proxy cards um, that look like Eric Klug altars using old magic cards. Uh, we had some bird sounds yesterday that were maybe too loud, so we'll. some wave sounds today maybe let's see how that is all right so today's video let's get into it it's a it's a how to make proxy cards uh, or you know alt your own altered cards that look like Eric Klug alters um, I have some examples here that I made this is a basic land island it has a time twister art in the in the text box so that is what they look like they're pretty cool um, you can make these by printing out pictures of magic cards that you want to, the art you want to put on your basic lands and maybe um, improve your deck a little bit um, these particular power nine images were from a counterfeit set of cards I bought unintentionally um, I don't like counterfeit cards so I recommend destroying them and this is one way to destroy counterfeit cards is to kind of cut them up and then maybe even repurpose uh, pieces of the card so that uh, they don't get mixed into collections and then people would never think people would never think that this is a an actual black lotus they just think it's you know um, a copy of a black lotus taped on to a basic forest. Um, I just <clears throat> cut out the little image, um, peeled off the, like separated the card layers, and then you try to get this as thin as possible so it doesn't st stick out in your deck. Um, then maybe you can use this in a tournament play. You can also just show it to your opponent before you play a game and say, hey, is it, I have these lands in my deck, is that okay with you? And you can go from there. And so to, to make your own, um, I'll show you real quick. Eric Klug, for those that aren't familiar, is a card alterist who takes like original magic cards, uh, like a Mox Jet, for example, and paints really high, detailed, realistic, um, just amazing art on top of the card so that this is a... Mox Jet made to look like a basic swamp here. So that's kind of what that resembles. See, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna take some other cards today and we're gonna make some um, proxy cards, altered cards. You're, you make your own altered cards and make them look like Eric Klug and be really popular in your playgroup. So things that you'll need are uh, some magic cards, some old magic cards. Um, I have a Savannah Lions here that is in HP, HP condition. It is beat up. So, uh, and maybe, maybe a dollar or less, you can find these. So cutting that up won't be too expensive and then we can glue it on a, a fourth edition planes here we're going to try to do it just like these power nine cards we're going to put this savannah lion right in there and then i've also got a lightning bolt that has some play where you can see um not as nice as the alpha lightning bolt that we opened in our e our mail day video this week but we're going to glue that onto uh, fourth edition mountains and then I have an idea for what to do with these basic lands that are altered. I'm going to put them in a lion dib bolt deck that I have. Uh, so if, the other things you will need are a pair of scissors to cut the cards and some sort of glue or glue stick. This is a little scotch um, tape roller that you can use to tape the card art onto the basic land. And let's just make some room up here to move these to the top. There's our power nine background. 
All right, so one of the things you can do is we'll start with the planes down here. Um, one thing I like to do is to take uh, an, other car, an older card, cut out the text box so that we can get the right size of the, so the card art. This time we're going to use Savannah Lions. This is a basic planes that I had put other card art on before, so we're just going to take a scissors and cut off the text box to give us the image size that we need for the card art that we want to put on there. Just clip it like that. All right, so that's the text box size that we want the art to kind of fit in there. And if you can see that the art will fit inside this little white border and look really cool in there. Um, and so you can see that this text box is a little smaller than the card art image. So you're gonna lose some of the card art unless you get really creative with a X-Acto knife and cut out the, the paws and stuff. But we're probably gonna to want to cut this out here around the lion's head to get that much in there. Maybe lose a little bit of its mane and maybe a little bit of its paw. But I think if we get that image, we'll probably be perfect. So you can line that up just like that. And then you take your scissors and we'll just cut out the, the lion real quick. And you can also go a little bit bigger if you want to trim it down when you, before you glue it, but this works pretty well. Just cut, cut. Cut this one here. And one more, one more cut here. All right, so that should do it. That should be our little Savannah Lion uh, card art that fits right in there perfectly. Um, let's do it like that. What do you think? What do you think? Savannah Lion. Um, you could glue this card on there if you didn't if you didn't weren't planning to use this in some sort of like tournament deck um, it does have a little bit of thickness to it so the cards will stack up and if you had like if you did this to maybe all 24 of your lands in a 60 card deck the the height of this side of the deck would be thicker than this side of the deck so you kind of have like a tilting tilting um, leaning tower of Pisa kind of deck but in theory, this card, let's see if we can do it here on camera, should be able to separate the, there it is, the layers of the, the back of the card from the front of the card, just kind of like that. We'll just take, and we just want the front of the card because we want to keep the altered card thin. We don't want it to be too thick. And I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. Like you can, I'm sure people have figured out how to separate magic card layers, but we're just gonna very carefully peel it apart like that. Just like that, perfect. Ta-da. So there's the back of the card that we'll throw away. This is the art that we want to glue on to our basic land. It's a little Savannah Lions. It's a really thin piece of paper. So when you glue it onto your basic land, it's not going to be too thick. And then you take your, your little tape gun and or glue stick and just kind of give some adhesive in the text box. Just like that. And then you can also put a little glue tape on the back of the paper card art. Whoops. And then line that up very carefully. And stick it to your card. Yep. 
and then press it, give it a little press. Just like that. So that is, that is an Eric Klug style card altar. Eric Klug style card altar. And then we can also do um, the lightning bolt. So, um, lightning bolt is a red card, so you can put it on a mountain. Savannah Lines is a white card for one mana, so that usually goes nice on a plains. Um, this lightning bolt will fit down in this tech box somewhere. So you probably want this portion of the lightning bolt to show mostly, and then maybe right to the top of that, and then some of the... So we'll take our template again from the text box, and we will kind of just cut out cut out the art. And Lightning Bolt again is probably a dollar in HP condition, so Revise, they printed millions of cards, so we can probably get more lightning bolts if we need to do this for a like a set of mountains. And one more snip. There it is. Okay. So there's our mountain art that we're gonna stick on this basic land. Check the size. It looks to be the perfect size. Inside it's inside the little red art box there, text box, and that looks like a beautiful mountain altered basic lands. Uh, step two, after we cut out the art, is to separate the two layers of paper. Yeah, so this will probably take, you know, a couple uh, minutes to do each of the cards, depending on how many you want to alter in your deck and how many cards you have in your collection is up to you. You can also go for the cheaper cards, um, the reprinted ones. Um, I don't recommend doing this to the 30th anniversary magic cards that were reprinted. Last weekend for the Magic's 30th. There we go. Okay, there's the back of the lightning bolt art. This is the top layer of the lightning bolt art. You can see how thin that is. So that'll, that'll fit nicely on here. We will take our adhesive, put some adhesive in the text box and put a little tape glue on the back of and be careful not to rip the paper but that's the get some of the extra stuff down there so it doesn't bubble up okay 
and then we'll stick lightning bolt art onto the card here. that give it a press and so yeah there you go that is the lightning bolt altered card in the style of Eric Klug um, you can see it's just it's thin it's one layer you can also remove the excess glue just by wiping away there you can see how it it, it uh, fits inside the red frame perfectly. And you can put those in your decks to use as basic lands. And it's an excellent way to get rid of, like I said, any unwanted proxy cards or counterfeit cards that you don't want to have in your collection. Um, and it's just a fun way to kind of reuse cards. Um, and it's also, you know, it's personal to you. You can personalize your decks with, with, the, with the card art images that you like the most. And um, if you have other ideas, let me know in the comments. Uh, these two cards are gonna go into a Lion Dib Bolt deck that I have. Um, so I think maybe in, the, in another video, I will show you um, where we're gonna use these cards. And so you can see how they look in a deck. But uh, that's my video on how to kind of repurpose your old magic cards, make them look like really cool Eric Klug alters, I think. He does, he does obviously some full card art alters. These text box card arts, uh, is where, when I first saw his work, um, he actually paints in very, very fine detail the card images. I do not have that kind of skill, I can't do that. Um, but I can probably, you know, cut and paste the images. Um, if you don't have the cards to sort of um, get that high quality detailed card image. You can probably also go to the internet and print the images from Scryfall or something and just, you know, print it from paper and, and glue them on. They'll probably be the same thickness, if, if not a little bit thicker than this, this layer of card paper. Um, but I like, I like using the real magic cards because they're nice and thin. And when you put them in sleeves like this, you can't really tell that there's an extra layer of paper on there. It's pretty, pretty flat, but that's Time Twister. And those are our Eric Klug style altered cards. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, um, like, subscribe, or just even comment below would be great. Um, and we can you know, perfect the process. We can get a little um, more creative with, with the cards that we, we do in the future. But that's the video. If you have other um, cards that you wanna see altered like that, um, let me know. I'll probably uh, continue with the theme of the how-to videos. Those have been somewhat popular. I have some other how-tos on my channel if you want to check out those videos as well. But other than that, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.